Papa Bien. Yeah. What What was your relationship with him? Kara kelo ka Papa Bien ka loa. No no ka no no ka Papa Bien ngobe. Papa Bien was Papa Bien was then married to my daughter. He said also that Marcus told you that you should let this your son-in-law to take him to another village. I want to get you to go. Marcus doing a moya. Go ya. He born long ago. They more unnatural. They born again who? Okay yo. Pray mula. Okay yo. And then I know what I mean. Holy. No matter my guy. Oh, after he saw this Papa Bia, he grabbed Papa Bia and beat on him. After the old man begged him, that was the time, he said, okay, say you are bad for the Papa Bia, let him take me to the next village. Yeah. And you decided to join him. Yes. What was your fear? Look, what was your fear? What was your fear? What was your fear? <laughs> he said he beat, boy, <laughs> he beat a boy in my present, so my fear was maybe if, they, if I don't follow them, they will do the same thing to him. What did you do that aggravated Marcus? You see? He said that Marcus took him with my nerves on his lips, lower lips. And my question is. What motivated that? Did he say, say uh, did he say or do something that make okay. Marcus vex and you came? Mega Deba Nyawa, in Muye, Mago doing a bo, Ila Bombula Boma and Mokwai, Ila, the way Gala, the Kono, Niwa Gamwa, he won't get a boy. I have my friend, yes. He wants that money from me. The $3,000 you talk about, was it in Liberian dollars or in US? Three thousand I take in the boy guy. Oh JJ currency. The he made mention of Marcus beside of going to his village. I got okay, he made up he made a way plan man gay. At 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 his village that was the battlefront. Okay, I gotta get more yeah, ten to cut it karajui. What is the name of that village? Dianga Battle from Ipoi Poi Dianga Dialawe. Damani Dai Digata. The town has two names. Gora Battle from Afawe Gai. No, no, I don't tell you. The version is Digata Town or Nenwi. 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 What is the first name? Digata Town. Digata Town. Yeah. Mm hmm. Nevin. He said Marcus was leading the group. He was not alone. Those who tortured you, who took money from you, but he was in the forefront. Do you remember the names of those other people that were with him when you were being tortured and money were extorted from you? Do you remember the names of some of them? Agora ele moia, mago dele, minha avó do nunca de ter mais dado me, também não quer ganhar aí. Dá para mais nunca lá que ele é ganhar, ele está lá com, tem de tudo me de cada sua pergunta, não mago é amplo. Você vai dar a conta não? Não. You don't remember their names. No. And you also talk about two boys. Agora ele quando o vira me o. And that these two boys decided not to kill you. Even though they were ordered to kill you. I got it. Imugo ye, mago imuflo no huyera ma. Ge, di pa juwa ten da alda ya nyela de 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 mubala la me nyau de ka. Ge duwe ipa. Oh eh, careful the lock on. Yes, but I don't know their names. You don't know their names. No. But since the ceasefire, have you seen any of them? Who ten ma ipa hang ma yada de takata. It gone? Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. 
Even the Mago Davis from that time up to this time, I am not laying eye on him. Well, were you to see some of these boys, including the Mago Davis, will you be able to recognize them? Then I do not even agree that by Mago Davis or John Wanga men are going to turn out to be the king of England or the king of the Yabo Mai the Crown. Then I would say, then I know that when they come in, I can feel that they have the 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 Oh, okay. He said he had, he had a sight problem now. He had it. See, even people are learning over there. He can only hear you, but he can only see you, but he can't really recognize you. So it's difficult that if any of them come for him to really recognize him. Uh, you know that you feed that the job. From the time they took me with the pen there here, from that time it was after three years, two years later, I have not been able to. My side has not been clear. Even when I walk in, you can see for yourself. Are you trying to impress our minds that the problem you have now with your side is as the result of that stabbing that was done with the bayonets? Yes. As we sometimes hear it, So he said, yes, that's the cause because as we can hear from people, the pen there has some uh, pressing in it. Since the cessation of hostility, have you been to a hospital to examine and know how serious is the defect of your eyes? To ten ma ten ma, but on inge ago apple plant here, I pomai. Yada yada happen a lot. Ten a do ka bi inge inge mama akapro ge lai. Yang pula di despo so happen a lot ke bi kana bete inga para ba. Oh, no, he has not gone to any medical attention. Are you willing, if the opportunity avails to you, to go and have a medical checkup? I'll be too happy. I'll be, I'll be dancing. I'll be too happy. You were robbed of your steam mail. You clock in where did you? Your cash money. Mm -hmm. How are you making your living now? Don't you for now, I'm just struggling now to eat because I don't have anything now. There's some things that I used to own, like cars and money. I don't get it, so I'm just struggling now to eat. Do you have children? Oh, yeah. Yes. A day of age now, or they are of school. Some of them are not going to school and they are big enough now. There are three going to school now. One in Pekana town here, two in Morovia. Out of the ten, there are three going to school. It is our understanding that Marcus is alive and Probably is in the country. I got to get to me. You can get a marble mountain. I got one ring number. If he challenge what you have said, are you prepared to face him? Don't even mean I take it today. I'm going to make a lie. Marco, I'm a girl. 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 Yes, I'm standing. Thank you very much.
Mr. Johnny Meyer, mm -hmm. thank you for coming to give your story to the TRC. Article 13 of the CPA, the Comprehensive Peace Accord that established the TRC. Says that the TRC, the Commission, should provide a forum. Where, where these issues of impunity, where people do things and, and they go free, will be heard. But it says in the, the CPA say we must provide a forum, a place like this where both victim, someone like you, who say you know something was done to you, and perpetrators, the person who did a bad of human rights violation, must come together. To share, to share their story so we can get that just what the CPA in the post say a clear picture of what happened. So we can have genuine healing and reconciliation. It also says that we should recommend measures. We should me recommend measures to be taken. That means we should say what's supposed to be done. And to rehabilitate the victim of this human that is why my commissioner asked the question whether it facilitates for, for any medical situation you'd be willing to take it. All we can do is recommend. The TRC is not a court. Oh. The TRC is not a court. But Article 7, Section 26, H of the TRC Act. It's the Bible we supposed to follow. Mm -hmm. Say we should the TRC should make recommendation. Speaking straight from the book that say that reflective of the truth. To reunify and reconcile containing parties. You've just said that one Marco Davis did something to you. Did you give a statement? To the TRC. With paper, yes. Do you make an end statement and you sign it? Or do you give an end statement to the TRC? And what time do you give it? TRC no the Yes. When did you give it and where did you give it?
Okay, so I assume you gave it to one of our statement takers. Yes. Okay. Because I got in my hand copy of the statement that he said you gave. Okay. Now, okay. When you were talking, you say that three small balls put rope on your waist. Okay. Ten man, mago dewe. Ah, no te ah. No, no, no. Ika, spend no hawe dey pay jaw de pa. No way, say that. Diga do you lungi? Way. I didn't call Marco Davis name. Yes. I say so. You say Marco Davis. I didn't say Marco Davis pull ways or boys from Marco Davis. Please interpret exactly what I say, Mr. Flomo. Thank you. I said because when you were talking. I wrote it down and a video recording this thing, so it will repeat what it is. Uh -huh. When you were talking, you said three small soldiers put a rope on your waist. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, but the paper here, so which one correct? The paper here said that. Uh, You say here, pluck uh, a marker, Davis. I want to read a file, marker, you're asking to give him the money. You say here yeah, that Marcus Davis put a, a cork, took the waist, took the rope and tied on your waist. So, oh, which one is correct? Mengu, we got it. You got Tenga, Idilang, Dilanga, you got Mengu, you got Bunyanga. You came, Mara Wanga, too, you lungi. Don't you mind, you pay your mail crying? Now, you can now, Ike, so you pray, Hava, the young girl, too, eating. I go here and do what they are. I go, you. He said, I say, man, we put your dinner and get my eh. Maybe the people who wrote the statement may have forgotten. I got bed in, yeah, bed in, get to now, and doing a yard, say that I get my call, you're dealing with the guard to soon. But I say, the three boys that put a rope on my waist, they put a rope on my waist from Selatan, at which time Marcos were in the sun town. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. At least we can clarify what's written here. Now, you said 60,000 Liberian dollars you had in a barrel, P4 barrel. I got to get you got a 60,000 yawi to be bunk. Four P4 barrel. Could you tell me which size? Because P4 come in different barrels. Okay. So they got small size. Medium size and large size. So, can you describe the size by showing us, like, there where you hear what size was the P4 barrel that was full with the Liberian JJ? Okay, but I don't wear the men who make one black okay, man. He got it coming, he got grown yet to be bunku. But I'm big bunku, young, Kakaka, Mugara, Hawa, Grumogana, German, we're gonna, Gadagana, Yabo, my in the qua, you Yes. Oh, he said. I see. This is how I say. This is how I can uh, sometimes know the difference. The one that can take three, uh, let's say, three tin, one gallon and a half. That have to do with that's a six ton three eighteen nineteen gallon. Nineteen gallons of yes. cane juice. Yeah. Now you said also okay. that Marco Davis took the sixty thousand dollars and the steam mill, right? Marco Ika Marco Dewey is sixty thousand dollars that is steam mill a jew. Mm. Yes. A jew. A gaman that's him again. Uh, yeah. But on this paper that you gave here, it said that he took the generator of the steam mill. So which one 
Is this they wrote here that he took the generator or his team mail? Okay. So which one is it? Is it his team mail? Is it a generator or what? Okay, make it again. But that's team mail. Ah, go on. Ah, go on. Ah, go on. That is the generator from the team mail that he took. Okay, thank you. So we can clarify that the generator and not his team mail. Okay, go. You hear the man boy at the gang with the mother who made that go on again. Generator with your guest team mail. Team mail boy there now. Grand there now. He said, it's, I said, is the, the, the granite remain there that the generator he took? Okay, thank you very much. At least we can clarify that it's not a steam mill, but the generator. He said, yeah, I said, 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 Article 7, Section 26 F of the TRC Act says that in order to help restore the dignity of the victim, someone like you, uh, and to give an account of the violation and abuses. That you suffer. And for the perpetrators to relate their experience. The environment must be constructive. And there must be interchange between the victim and perpetrators. When the commissioner Sheik asks you if you should see uh what his name, Marco Davis, were you the person who you said pluck your mouth and took your sixty thousand dollars? Will you be able to recognize him now? And you say you are bad, you won't be able to recognize him. And then you say you are you won't be able to recognize him. you because of your eyesight, right? Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Witness, for, yeah, telling, for telling the truth. And may God bless you. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yeah, Thank you for coming to the TRC. Okay. And thank you for um, sharing the experience you had with us. I just wanted to know whether Marcus Davis knew you personally. See? Did Marco Davis know him personally? Well, I'm not in his mind, but he used to pass my village every day. So he's from around your village? Is he from around that area? They're just doing the war that I get to, to know him and see him. How long during the war you used to see him? He visited my he used to visit my he used to visit my place over they were there for almost two years. But he used to come and go, come and go. They were not busy in one place as they can. They spend time, they will go to another place. 
since the incident took place, have you seen Marcus Davis? No. Okay. During your statement, you, you said that Marco Davis, Marco Davis was the same as Sonic Adiebo. So my question is, how do you know that the same Marco Davis you saw then is Sonic Adiebo? So it's only from the talking that you got to know that Marco Davis is the same as Sonic Adiebo. Yes. And you have not seen any of his cassette with his picture on it? Uh, to be very frank, even my own wife, she turned her back. I can't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I can't know her. Okay. Um, my last question is: um, You said that when they were torturing you. I got to get me. You may get. We were ten minutes to go. Pong we huni pong na pong we. One Natalia Zoka first came and told him to leave you alone. I got to get ten. You get. You may go. I get. You get ten minutes. And he asked him to take money from you. He oh. He asked. <laughs> May find something to give to him. Okay. And then you found a thing and give it to him. Uh-huh. After you gave him a thing, they didn't leave you. They still continue to torture you. After I gave him the thing. Mm-hmm. On the scene, they left me. Mm-hmm. But later, yeah, later, Natana Zoga took me and carried me in Sultan area. Mm-hmm. Later, when he left, before Marco Davis sent for me again, before I came back to him, before they started torturing me for the second time. So you left Natania in Sultan and, you, and he sent for you and brought you back to another area. Yes. Okay. So you saying that he was not aware of the second time that Marco Davis captured you. No. And you never saw him again. You won't go on the garden? No. He never saw him again. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Witness, uh, so you can see very clearly. let me join my colleagues in saying thank you to you for coming to the TRC. And I want to say sorry to you for all the suffering you went through, all the bad things that happened to you during the war. I'm sorry. Okay. I have just two short questions for you, just for clarification purpose. You said Mr. Marcus Davis 
and his fighters beat you up, but you specifically remember that Mr. Marcus David beat you. Now, during the times that he was beating you, what did he use to beat you? What kind of things he used to beat you with? He gave the straight color, the one they call Bear Baron. Mm, he, gave it, he gave two to his, his soldiers, and that one was using to beat on him. On me. Okay. On me. <laughs> he said cutlass. You mean cutlass that has a sharp edge? Cutlass as in cutlass itself? Black Yes. Black Bone that knocked the crew away. Yes. Okay. Ask him how long he think the beating went on for. How long the beating and the torturing lasted? Almost in the course of formula two hours. The, the time and our line now, as they beat me, they will go and be resting. I just time, then they come back. So you're almost like in the course of two hours. Okay. And how long he stayed with them? Because from his different explanation, it looks like he was in the company at one point. Uh, somebody took him to, uh, to Slew Town. Then um, Mr. Tavis allegedly sent for him. So how long they kept him with them? Oh. The very day they beat on me, that the very day I gave them the money, and that the very day I, I, I escaped and I went in the bush. Okay. Your family. The family. Anything happened to your family besides you? Oh yes, even my older son Paul, his name is Paul, they beat him, but they beat, they beat him in Bonkante. Even he, he lives here presently and he, he read I go to town and they put fire in here. Bam. Okay. My last question. If you had the opportunity now to say something to Mr. Marcus David who you said hurt you during the war, what will you say to him? Okay, Thank you so much. Uh, if Margot having to come the way I took off, and he took, and he take off, he will, as soon as he see me, he will identify. He will identify me. He will say, "Yes, this is how I treat this man in this place here." And he come and say, "Papa, I beg you, but that thing that happened about war, but let it pass between you and myself." You a two person fighting, you who can go to pardon that you can set a pardon. And I didn't For example, uh, you who will go defy the people, two men fighting, you sometimes one person will be wounded, that sometimes you had the upper hand to say, you sorry, you move on, you go, you go hospital, send the wounded, you go hospital, and you will know what next to do. 
So you are a major. And so about it. So Marco Pawaka man. So a mother having to come and say, Gabata getting up again when it is a good girl. At that kind of money, I call in 60,000. I look for that money to send my children to school, and my God calls it today, and I lose it. So, I'm going to go to the money. I'm going to go to the money. I'm going to go to the money. I'm going to The only thing I'm, uh, I would suggest is if he come and gets it, let bag on be bag on. I will only ice and let him give me some money. Let me send my children to school so that I will not they will not remain like me. Yeah, I made it. I'm so about it. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much. But what you're trying to say is we all want peace. The war is over. We need to reconcile. We need to move ahead. We live together. So he is saying that if Mr. Davis come and admit that, yes, he did it, but he sorry our war, he will accept him. Maga at least he will, he will pay him back in money so he can send his children to school. Maga Mago Apawa, Bojoma, a young Gajuba, Goete, Goate, I mean, Greg Juba, Guabate, Galway, K, Ehana, Queno, Iluni, Dupo, Cobramo. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Omen. Yeah, you hear them. So, Johnny, thank you very much. Yeah, you hear. Okay. For coming to share your experience with us. And let me uh, say uh, we're very sorry for the ordeal that you experienced. Mm -hmm. I just like to ask you a few questions. Okay. Yeah. To the best of your to the best of your knowledge and recollection. Did other soldiers from other factions go into your area or was it only the MPFL that operated in your area? Yes, LPC came there and we ran away and went in the bush. Like this other unit, the other unit for all we don't know. The two factions that came there was LPC and NPFL. Before the LPC came in your area, how many years or how long did you live there with the MPFL? Oh. Go candy, go, you go, go candy, who I grant on the scooter, who Nandi Nandima. It is true all, but I've got everything with him. That has your mother. It was from from 1990 up to the time LPC came there. What year did LPC come into here? Granny, LPC on the panel. PC Ipa Ipa Nandi Nandi Fung on Mong Wu Tang. It was not a four. Not a four when rest is almost above to have uh, reach harvest. So that's around October. I don't get Gaia. Yeah, or two. Now, can you tell us how was life, normal everyday life, living with the MPFL? Up until the time the LPC came, how was life? I was like, "Kaka na ga huya ngai, hu, ke hu nadi nadi dema." Hmm. Elejo, na the LPC leba pa na the food na the food LPC leba pa na. Kada ngaka na kapu gali attend. Koga na dega pa na de 
that time, when the soldiers come, they will get eyes off for food and, and cattle. Then we take and go to them. Then they used to pay for it. To Ganya. To Ganya. To Ganya. To Ganya. To Ganya. Uh, do you remember any time when anybody refused to give food and uh, cattle? And uh, can you say what happened to those who refused to yield to the request or to heed the request from the uh, soldiers? Grab my laying attender, who I attend the gap and I am with the car to go here. You, you go conover by your boot, you go for ten, I go for gay, ten, I mean, I know that I mean, no, that I can't The gap of what I could do, could you conon there? Muyakana. Well, he did not really uh, witness anybody refusing at that time because as they come, we give it to them to go. But you know, you know, witness anybody to refuse for, for them to treat the person in the mm. person or to do anything different. So you're saying that this used to happen all the time? Hmm? Uh, uh, Yes, when you come to the studio's feeding, in the daytime, they will come two, three times, but sometimes, not all the days, we used to get a goat. Sometimes, sometimes chicken, dry meat. No, sometimes, within the daytime, they will come three times, they will omelet every day. Okay, you say that uh, you were in a uh, village and Nathaniel Zoga took you to Slu Town and left you there. Am I able yet? Nathaniel Zoga, eh, Laya, Suta, Eden, I? Yes. Did you know anybody in the area, Slu Town? You knew anybody there? Anybody that knew you? Suta, I couldn't do it. You know that I'm a corner, but not that I'm a D corner. Presently, yes, but presently at the time people knew me there. I mean, presently people know me that living there. But during that time, everybody was in the bush and everybody had left the town. The citizens were not there no more. So when they were doing all of these things to you, tying you and beating you for your money. Where were the other villagers? I got to get ten and do you hold now? Day you day low, eh? No, I got on the rat target and to come over. Oh, do not. You were not there. You can't take all away. Now, women do not go away. You don't forget that. Everybody was in the bush, and in fact, finally, they, they, they ran after me in the bush again. They grabbed me because all of us were in the bush. How long you stayed in the bush? The other people think I really got no. I got no who I want to know. One month, two weeks. I was in the bush. So, can you remember? You said Marcus David was a commander that had people under him. Can you remember some of his main uh, officers, people who were his assistants, who used to work with him? Can you remember some of their names? I only make a mago to you and Tim. I got on a where I do Nuka day, a Nuan or Tiga, Yabin, a Nuka de Gana, Yemunu, Tena Naga, Lena, Beda Gidena, okay, Mago de Naga, Nuka day, Tena Yemunu, and that Naku, Ele Inga. I can make a lawyer. I say I was in the bush. I don't remember anybody. I can't lower ten down. Ting that man up, put the gum up, I got up about that. After they took my money and they released me, I joined the bush. They told me, if we see you in the town, we will kill you. So I was in the bush. I said, if I get here, people talking, I will run in the bush. So when LPC came, where were you? 10 LPC, I bought again. Where are you LPC? LPC. LPC, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? No way. Before LPC could come, we were in the town. We were in a town, but as soon we hear the firing sound, we ran by in a bush. So, what were some of the things that LPC did in your area? I got to get the LPC. 
Well, uh, let me just say it this way. What you see with your own eyes is why when they ask you, you can answer to. When they came, like, they were in St. John to the boundary between Basel and Bonn. We were then in the bush. I did not see anything and what I didn't see, I can't tell, I can't tell you people. How long you stay in the bush when LPC was in your area? Uh -huh. We spent three weeks. We spent three weeks in the bridge after they were running behind uh, NPF and they went in Nimba. Now you mentioned the name of Papa Bia. I can look at it. Papa Bia made that one. Where is Papa Bia today? Doni Mamu Papa Bia Ghana. Papa Bia Ghana company. He wrote the number three compound. So Papa Bia was was there when uh, they went for you and took you to get the three thousand dollars and the other money, or only during the time they took the three thousand dollars. Uh, okay. It was only me. Forget it. I was not there. I was not there. I'm not saying I was in the town, but I said I was in the bush when they took me from in the bush. That's what I'm saying. So what happened to the rest of the steam mill? They took the, took away the generator, but the other parts of it. Where where, where is it today? Did it did, did it uh, leave it there or, or what? Tell my dad. Grogging when Danny Moher I go here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mr. Myers, thank you. Thank you very much for coming to share your experience with us today. Mm -hmm. I was so sorry for all the pains you went through during the war. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to ask you a question. Now, you talk about when you were carried at the riverside mm -hmm. in an attempt to get information from him, they tried to drown him. How long this went on for? Uh, I say thank God. So the me who me. You can understand things. owns water is fish? Not I can't really estimate the time. They were present as they press me under the water, I would lift up my head. Then they will ask. Then they will say, You want fire with the soil? And they say, You're taking all side down. I can't, get, I can't estimate to say it was two minutes, three minutes, no, then I will be lying. Was Marco Davis by the water side when this thing was going on? He, he was under his scene when this thing was going on. Okay. Uh, Mr. Myers, uh, you were saying 
Finally, he said, send the woman, uh, he has, has confessed where he had the money. You're talking from there instead of killing him. Allah goes, so you can show us the money that he, Margaret Davis, said that. Okay, now. In your testimony, you also mentioned that before they use a bent knife to cut your lip, they beat you. In mode. Okay, he had grudge for this man here. Why should you be him? Beat on him. Before he took the knife from there. From under my lip. So they saw, or they saw he sustained that day. How he took care of that soul? Because they cut his lip. You are able to go to hospital. How the soul was treated. Tell me, die one that by because you attend it. He by he gabu gabu kwe diya ya he high blood ala or he gabu gale. Aka. There was no hospital. I get used to go in the bush, take those bitter stuff and get put it there, hot water, put it there until the soul finish. Okay. Now you also talk about Papa Bear. How he was beat and accused of being an A-war. I got to get the Papa Bear on the John. The God Noah, the woman, the guy, A-war. At the hands of Marcus, at the hands of Marcus Davis. Now you got a problem with your eyes. You can't see well. But knowing that Marcus, I mean, Papa got his own experience. If Marcus see, I mean, if Papa Bia see Marcus Davis, will he be able to identify him? Uh, well, Papa Bia is right at the, the compound tree there. Uh, I can't say uh, maybe Papa Bia will know him, but if Papa Bia do come. If you ask him as a well, whether Margot Davis beats on him or puts him in the end, a trial end, he will tell you yes. Thank you very much for coming hey. to share your experience. You hey, hear Adama. Mr. Witness, we want to tell you thank you very much for coming. Oh. Okay. No napkin. Well, I think you also want to say how sorry we are to you for all the things that you went through. Mm -hmm. Your testimony has ended and the commissioners have exhausted their questions. Is there anything finally you want to say? to us, the commissioners, or the people of Grand Basel, the people of Liberia before yeah. we leave. Mm -hmm. Yes. You can say that now. Before. This, this is what I want to say. This land is in the hands of those who are learned people. If you can see that as old as we are, if we can't speak, it will derive from at the, at the time we were born, there were no learning. This time, even you listen to the radio, they are saying every day, every, everyone should go to school and learn. And you know, 
ngodo ni ngade hobwe gabare ba ke no de gwa nyi ge 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 ta ka dana da pe ha suku ma ke dana da nyinu fasete ha ina bin for marcus to take my money away then but now my children some of them out of high school ha bo mo de aten a di pe pe ten da gabare kwara nyi gabalo nwa ga nga ndo nda to suku a pe ha suku ma ale a pe eh 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 computer ma do ni hu a Okay. After Margot took that money from me, the little one I was able to, to get or to look for and get, I sent only one of my son in school and he out of high school, he did computer and he out of computer college today now he going to university. We are not looking for this money to go buy and just eat it, but we are looking for money to send our children to school so that they will be learn people for us. I if TRC can find way or to help me send my children to school, I will be I will be too happy. So you are making the prayer the God come and the dear he can decree me. And this is my request to you people, and I live in all with God. Queen near Yagawa Banaji. I got Queen Diego Yagawa. To learn is good and very sweet, and we we don't know, and we are not part of it. Thank you very much. Eh, Adama. We appreciate. We hear what you say. Me tete imwe ku yeye mu koma. In the beginning, one of the commissioners said, "At the end of the work of the commission, we make our findings and present the recommendations to the government." We have heard all that you have said. And we're taking your recommendation into consideration. Your testimony today help us to understand. Some of the things that happened in Grand Bazaar during the conflict. And that is a very, very valuable contribution to our work as a commission. Mm -hmm. okay. So we we'll tell you thank you and we pray God that all our children will have opportunity to go to school. Mm -hmm. Because as you speak, you speak for a thousand other parents who, because of the war, cannot send their children to school. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. You can leave now. Okay. Thank you. Okay.